everyone, welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland and an Asda grocery haul. This was for a family of four, no specific diets really this week. And I did the click and collect, but there were a few substitutions and I didn't want any of them. So I basically gave the substitutions back and went into B&M to see if I could get the alternatives from there. So there's a little mini B&M haul as a bonus on the end of this. Now, I don't know about you, but our Asda seems to have stopped doing anything to do with social distancing. There's no queues anymore. There's still one entrance and one exit, but there's nobody manning them. There's nobody checking how many people are actually... Hello, Brooke. Hello, Brooke. Okay. There's, no many pe there's nobody checking how many people are going in and out. It's just a free-for-all. Once you're in there, they've still got the arrows on the floor, but nobody's caring about the one-way system or about keeping social distancing at queues or anything. So I don't know if it's just our ASDA or if everybody, everywhere's like that now, if they relax the rules that much that you're not meant to social distance now. I don't know, but it was a bit strange. I spent £111 something this week, but some of that was for Granny Annie. And some of it was uh, will also be refunded once my substitutions are sent back get processed as well. So it was probably about £100, I would say, that I spent on us. So let's get on with it. Right, let's start with the fruit and veg. I got some salad. So I got the fine cut salad, ready prepared stuff. That was 60 pence. We're quite enjoying having side salad with some of our meals. And I also got some spinach to have as part of the side salad, but also to put in pasta this week. I saw um, Tracy the Mad Scots last had made a lovely pasta dish with bacon and spinach, so I'm going to try that this week, since I'm not keto. I got a big cucumber to go with our salad. That's a big one, actually. Woo! Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Right, I got some baby plum tomatoes. I'm not a huge tomato fan, but I do like these um, either with salad or I don't mind them cooked as well. I'll put some of them in the pasta as well. And of course, mushrooms. I love my mushrooms. They're so versatile. I got some of the really easy veg. So a bag of the carrot and peas that serves to and goes in the microwave. And also a bag of the carrot butternut squash and green beans that serves too and goes in the microwave. They're really handy for having as side dishes. I got some asparagus, or as my cousin used to call it, asparagus. Um, and I got that to have with our fish this week. We're having salmon, so I thought some salmon uh, asparagus is lovely with salmon. And I do have this one keto as well when I'm keto. Some side dishes, I got some Maris Piper creamy mash because I'm lazy and it's so much better when someone else has made it and you just heat it up. And also some sweet potato fries, we love these. I did order some sweet potato fritters which are amazing out of Asda. However, that was one of the things that was substituted. It was hash brown bites that I didn't want so I sent them back. And fruit. I got some pomegranate seeds. I love these. I can't be bothered with a hassle of pomegranates, taking all the seeds out, but I do love them on their own. Um, but I got these for Jack, actually. I got three of the watermelon slices because they're three for a pound and Brooke loves her watermelon. I got a pack of seedless mixed grapes. I got a pack of bananas. Banana, ooh la la. That's about the only fruit that I'm eating just now. Um, I like a banana now and again, and I can have it now that I'm not keto. Please excuse the dogs barking, you know what it's like by now. I got a punnet of strawberries, just the 227 gram one, because they do tend to go mushy before we get through them all. On to the dairy. I only got one semi skin milk this week because we've still got milk left over from last week. We're not really using a lot of it. I got the rhubarb activia yogurts, that's the four pots for Jack, and also the light and free strawberry for him. I got some mild cheddar cheese and I got it as a block because I'm fed up with Asda's ready grated cheese going mouldy before it's even opened. I got two tubs of double cream because I'm still having a creamy coffee for my breakfast in the morning. Right, on to the main protein-y type things. I got a pack of bacon for the pasta. Normally I get smoky, eh, not smoky, streaky bacon when I'm keto, but because I'm not, I got normal bacon and we'll just cut the ends off it, the fatty bits, and give them, them to the dogs. I got 
the Hunter's Chicken. Now, this was on three for £10, so I got two of them because you get two in a pack, but me, Jack and Abby eat it. So um, I got two and the fourth one either the dogs will get or Jack will split with the dogs. And the third thing for a tenner that I got was this breaded boneless chicken platter, which I'll show you. So that's a variety that you get in there. So just three different types of chicken, I think it is, uh, breaded chicken. And we'll have that tonight, I think, with some salad and coleslaw. I got some of the Welsh cheddar and smoked bacon sausages. We we'll love these. I have these on keto as well. But this week I'm really fancying the sausages with the mashed potato that you saw earlier and beans. I think it was maybe Tracy that put me in the mood for that with her uh, Meals of the Week video. And I also got the sweet chilli salmon fillets. Absolutely love these. These go in the microwave as well. And when I'm not keto, I do like them. And to go with that, I got this, which is delicious. We got it last week as well. It's the Tilda Super Grains Coconut. And it's quinoa, brown basmati and wild rice. In fact, I think this is maybe a different one. But hopefully it will still be quite nice as well. That's what it looks like. And uh, yeah, hopefully that will be nice. This is per 110 gram serving... 174 calories. So yeah, I'm going to try that. And I also got this rice to try this week and it's a tilda sweet chilli and lime i thought that sounded nice i'm not sure what i'm gonna have that uh, have that with yet that was a bit of a tongue twister but i'll think of something so yeah looking forward to trying that as well i got oh in fact i might even have it with this because this was delicious last week nacho and chilli cheese crumb chicken breast fillets now this is so nice we had it last week again it's in the three for ten pound and i did get three of these and gave one to granny annie for her and my dad so we've got um two packs between the three of us because again there's two in a pack which is annoying i wish they did a pack of three but hey ho and it is so tasty it, the chicken is so succulent and then it's got like a sort of chilli cheese on it and peppers and nachos and oh it's just really really tasty there is jalapenos on which i take off mine because i don't do spicy uh, i've got a couple of pizzas for the girls a cheese and tomato one for brooke and a pepperoni one for abby i got these the cw's you know i can't say it because these are for the dogs and if i say the word they go ballistic one to one I got a cheeseburger for one of Brooke's meals because she's the fussiest person in the world and she does actually like these. These are also for the dogs and I've just switched the cooker on. Not good. I got these for the dogs as well. Right, on to other cupboard foods now. I got the Sultana bran for Jack's breakfast. He loves his Sultana bran in the morning with some honey on it and some milk. I got the King's Mill 50-50 bread for the girls. I got Jack four tins of soup for his lunches. I got beef broth, lentil and bacon, ooh, ooh, minestrone and scotch broth. He likes that for his work, um, for his lunch at his work, sorry. Then I got, these were also one of the reasons I went into B&M. You may know that for my lunches, I'm having a protein bar just now. So the two of the ones that we wanted, their favourite ones, the peanut butter and the caramel chaos, they didn't have in Asda. And they had substituted it with the cookie dough ones and I don't like them. So we sent them back and that was one of the reasons I went into B&M. So I got a dark chocolate raspberry a white chocolate salted peanut and a Jaffa Quake. I do like all of those. So they're my lunches through the week. And along with the ones that I got in B&M that I'll show you later. On to the treats. I got two packs of Freddos, one each for the girls. I got a pack of peppermint arrows for Jack and a pack of dairy milk caramel for Jack. They were a pound each. And I got a pack of twirls for Brooke and a pack of Whisper Golds for Abby. Again, a pound each. I did get two packs of the knickknacks, one for each girl, but one's already been stolen. <laughs> and that's that. So on to the drinks. 
This was a wee whoopsie because when I read my substitutions, I thought they were substituting all three of the Raspberry Pepsi Maxes that I had ordered with cherry and I thought, no, I'm really in the mood for raspberry. So I, w I went into B&M's and got them there. However, it was only one cherry that they'd given me and I still had the two raspberry. So I've now got five bottles of Pepsi Max this week. Oops. I am actually doing well at weaning myself off the Raspberry Pepsi Max. I'm only drinking that through the day now. And while I'm fasting, I'm drinking flavoured water. So I don't actually need the five, but they'll do for next week. It's not a big deal. I've got some orange and pineapple, no added sugar squash for Jack and the girls. But I'm going to have some of that this week as well, along with the bottles of sparkling mineral water. I have been getting the sparkling flavoured water from Asda, but they've got limited flavours and I'm getting a bit sick of them and they're really, really sweet. So I decided to get the plain sparkling water and I'll just add either a small amount of skinny syrup or some of the diluting juice to it, just for a wee change instead of the, the really sweet flavoured waters from Asda. And I've got the girls, their fruit juices as well. So a pineapple juice for each of them and an orange juice that's smooth and an orange juice with bits because that's what they like. Please excuse Abby shouting while I keeps opening her door and she's trying to get peace. So that was everything from Asda. So that was about £100 worth and that was for our family off for this week. Now on to B&M. Right, so first of all, what I actually went into B&M for, like I said, I thought I didn't have any Raspberry Pepsi Max from Asda, so I got three bottles of that. This is actually still cheaper in B&M, it's 95 pence a bottle instead of a pound. However, it's not the bigger bottles now, it's just, it's the same size as the, the ones from Asda. And they didn't have any grenade bars in B&M, so I got a full fill chocolate peanut butter vitamin and protein bar and a battle ready fuel salted caramel so we're going to give these a try i can't remember how much they were i think they were about the same price as the grenade bars from asda oh that's a point actually all of the grenade bars and these i got times two because i got some for granny annie as well um and while I was in B&M, of course, you can't just buy what you're going for. So I got this gorgeous candle. It's vanilla and cedar wood, and it does smell very nice. Smell, ooh, yum. Um, but I've got that to go in my bathroom. I've got a nice black unit in the corner, and I'm still looking for things to put on the shelves. And that's the sort of colour that I'm putting on it. So I like that. And I got this to go on it as well. It's a little whale. Look at it. Now, it's not the right colour, but... It is so cute and it's a wee succulent. It will fit perfectly just on the very top shelf of the the shelving unit. And that was the candle was £2.50 and that was only £2. And I just thought it was adorable, so I had to get it. I got the strawberry and mint after eights that I've been looking for for ages, but they didn't have them and then they did. So it was $1.99 for the box and I decided to get them for while I'm not keto this week because I might be going back on it next week. There's an exclusive way and update for you. Um, and I also got a bag of Magic Stars because I've not had these for ages. And Abby was getting a bag and I was like, oh yeah, get me a bag. They were a pound. And <sighs> Rana, can I get through any videos without you annoying us? No? And finally... I got a pack of lovely fine liners. There was a pack of 10 for £2.50. I've got a new colour in book, so that's what I got these for. Oh, I'm terrible. Right, I'm going to let him Right, so that was everything that I got at Asda and B&M this week. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to comment down below. Just say hello to me. And I will see you in our next video. Thanks, everyone.